In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a trips tied in passing concept that you can use when your opponent is wanting to run cover three Mabel and specifically whenever your opponent is wanting to use her to the right side of the trips tied in. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're going to be using the play PA slot corner to be able to get this opening. And I recommend having um, a hot route master quarterback. You don't have to have a hot route master quarterback, but I do recommend having one uh, for this specific setup. And the main reason why is because we're gonna do a little bit of trickery with our tight end and kind of get him in space that is going to help. Now, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to do this. If you don't wanna do this, then you can leave the tight end on his corner route. And I would actually recommend motioning out the running back on this play and creating a five wide receiver set. But what I like to do is I like to take this um, this tight end on the outside here and I love to motion him out. Now the question is before we motion him out, what we wanna motion him out on. Do we wanna put him on a crossing route? Do we wanna put him on a corner route? Do we wanna put him on a post, a trail, any of those routes or do we wanna motion him out? What I like to do on this in particular play is I actually like to essentially motion him out and put him on a drag. So like I said, you don't have to have, um, you don't have to have Hot Route Master necessarily for that. But what I do want you to have Hot Route Master for is for this route right here. As you see, I'm gonna put the running back on a table route. And the reason why I wanna do that is because we're gonna stretch the defense um, vertically with this vertical streak. And so as you can see, I can really get nice spacing out of this. This is the whole point of this. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much tending to kind of bank that their user is gonna to wanna to sit kind of right over in this area. So when he sees that drag, that's gonna kind of trigger the user. And so what I wanna do is I wanna throw the ball in behind the user. And so an easy way to do that is to leverage this right here, uh, this, this, this basic concept. And the best way that I know how to do this is to essentially either do this right here, double drags with a, a, an out, or to streak and drag. Now I like to do the double drags typically, and then I'm gonna either put square on a curl route or an out route. The reason I like a curl route is you're gonna see that this is gonna really pull a lot of the outside zones. It's gonna create a nice natural space to throw the ball right in that pocket in behind the yellow zones on this play. Now, the reason that I like the streak um, is because you're gonna see that this is gonna kind of make that window last a little bit longer. So for example, if I were to use that same strategy, motion out Gronk, the reason I like to motion out Gronk is this is gonna trigger their user to think he might be on a streak, or not a streak, but a, um, a post or something underneath. So when they see that he's on a drag route, then their user, I guarantee you, will bite down because then you've got this streak, which they're gonna pass that off but now you see late in the play, we can hit this nice little uh, post route over the middle of the field. Okay, so those are a couple different ways to run this setup. And now I wanna talk through kind of what's gonna happen if their user um, does go to the post route. So I'm gonna kind of put him in man coverage on the post, just so you can kind of anticipate what is gonna happen uh, for your offense when this, when this occurs. And this is why I love this drag route. And, and honestly, you might even put square on like a curl. Um, a curl route would be a good one as well. Um, real quick, also this table route, let's just snap, throw it out of the backfield is really good. That's why I like that table route. I like that a little bit better than the than the zig route. The other thing I didn't talk about yet is, you know, what do you do if they blitz, right? So if they send pressure, this is a great, great play for pressure. This is one of my favorite plays uh, in the entire game if I get blitzed out of it. And the reason why is because of this running back route, because I can just snap, throw it to the running back, and as you see right there, we're gonna be off for a couple five to 10, 15 yards um, if we break a tackle, okay? So that's my easy read for the blitz. Another thing that I like to do specifically 
if they blitz you is there it's very rare they're going to put a yellow on the left side and even if they do put a yellow on the left side um this curl route you know these double drags with the curl all of it together is really not going to give them an advantageous situation and so you're going to get this nice inside positioning so i just step up in the pocket and just pop that easy little post route against the blitz so this is one of my favorite plays for many reasons, but another reason why I like this play so much is we're gonna say, okay, so what happens when they take the post away? We want to throw the post, and honestly, the post is the best route on the play. So what do we do whenever they take that away? Well, we can do a couple of things. Um, there's, uh, there's another way that you can set this up that's actually a little bit better against zone coverage. Um, so if you get a zone look, you might want to go to that, but I, I just like this setup as well. And so, what you're gonna do is you're basically going to work these double drags right over the middle of the field, right there. You see how open that is for five to 10 yards, you can easily just simply check it down the drag. Now, I'm not going to be naive and say that this guy is not gonna sit here for a second. It's very likely that he's gonna sit here, he's gonna carry, and then he's gonna come back in here. So to show this as best as I possibly can, I'm gonna try to put him in like a middle third um, but I'm going to try to get him like right over in here, uh, like so, so that he kind of starts down there. And I'm going to put a yellow over here just like so, uh, just to try to get you guys as good of an idea. Because the swerve, what they're going to do is, I guarantee you, they're going to come down, they're going to come over, and then they're going to see the post, and they're going to try to jump back onto it. Now, all of this is going to happen within, you know, very, very, you know, short timing. And so uh, this is why, this is another reason why I really like to motion out the drag. It's really important because when you're facing this kind of coverage, what you really wanna do also is you want to be able um, to essentially throw in behind the user. So, you know, this is another reason why I like the streak. Um, the streak can be advantageous for this. You can also use this curl. Um, and so what you're gonna see is as we stretch these zones, this tight end is gonna run open for a long time. That's an easy check down. Now I want you just to notice that when we throw that drag route, you know, we're getting about five yards, even if he doesn't get any yards after the catch. Um, I didn't, did I talk about man coverage? I haven't talked about man coverage yet. So let's go over man coverage really quickly. This is a really one of my favorite man beaters. And the reason why is because if they blitz you out of man coverage, uh, I just wanna go over this real quick. Um, there's no one on the running back. As you can see right there, it's, you know, we're talking 30 yards until anyone's going to touch the running back on this play. So it's really great uh, for, for that, in my opinion. I just love the alignment that you get. If they are in man coverage and they do something like this, this is why I love this offense and specifically why I really am falling in love with this motion because you see that it's going to motion out. Now what we get is we get the linebacker on the right side is guarding the tight end and the middle linebacker is guarding the running back. Well, the middle linebacker is the user. So the user is now in a ton of conflict. Um, he doesn't, like, who does the user card? Neither one of them are going to get covered. You see that the tight end is unbumpable even when you motion him out. Another reason why I really, really like that route. Because if they're going to stop the drag, the only way they're going to do it is with this um man-to-man -man coverage so then what they're going to do is you're going to see i mean you're going to see them do something essentially along these lines here where we've got this kind of man coverage look and like i said whenever you motion out the tight end it makes them declare if they're blitzing or not because if that linebacker goes out with the tight end then obviously he's in man-to-man -man. if he doesn't go out then he's not in man-to-man -man. now real quick let me just show you what happens let's say they move this guy this is a common tactic out of trips tight end and so you're going to see something like this. Well, this is where I absolutely just love a quick little 5 to 10 yard little quick out route. And you're going to have easy reads for your quarterback. This makes reading the defense so much easier. It makes them really have to declare what they are actually doing pre-snap uh, as opposed to being able to disguise it too much. There's really not a lot of disguise they can do because when I motion this guy out, and I might even keep him on a corner until I put him on a drag because if I get him out here and that linebacker's down, I could throw a quick corner out right now, right, obviously. But anyway, so we're going to go back to these double drags against this man coverage, and this is where I come back to say, again, you've got your curl against man, you've got your post, um, this post route is so good against me. So he just cuts the inside. 
just slices the defense up. So you've got a lot of things that you can hit against man and against zone coverage. Um, so this is a great little play. Be sure to add it to your playbook. And if you want to get the full trips tight end offensive guide, then you can get the whole breakdown in the description. There's a link that I put down below where I actually wrote the entire trips tight end offensive guide down and also gave very in-depth video analysis about the entire scheme.